It's the beer video and Helen's on the sun. Basically, yes. Yeah. Um. Before, yeah. good. T talk about the heat because I got something really stupid to say. Do. Oh, what's that? Oh, please do. Oh God. Okay, so I had on a preseason football game. Okay, I was eating dinner. Had the preseason football game on. Didn't turn the channel off. It was on CBS. Okay. I guess 60 Minutes was on after that. I don't know. I know I'm old, but I don't watch 60 Minutes. But I happened to catch, and I don't watch any network. I, I The only time I have a network on is if I'm watching like a football game. So I have no idea what television shows they are pushing for the fall season. Do you know what CBS is rebooting? Uh, No idea. Matlock. So I've never seen that show. I mostly know it as a running joke on The Simpsons. Yeah. It starred, uh, what's his name? Um, fuck, I can't even remember his name. Uh, was it Andy Griffith? Was he Matlock? Oh, mm -hmm. God, I have to look up Matlock. Oh, my God. I've already yeah. talked. Now I'm going to have Matlock. It was Andy Griffith. I, I'm not going to continue this search because I don't want it in my search history. That's, uh... That's what we got for ideas um, in the year 2024, creatively. Uh, we are rebooting Matlock. I heard the Columbo reboot actually wasn't that bad. but I, I think CBS is just a running bunch of reboots. Because isn't like Hawaii Five-0 on there and like fucking Magnum P.I.? Um, they did like a Miami Vice reboot, I think, too. Oh. Wait, no, that was a movie. They did do but, a movie, yeah. It was a movie. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. And it's got that, uh, I think, Korean-American actor who's uh, legitimately quite talented. So I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, the guy that was on... Um... Shit. Was it Steve Young? Uh, Daniel Day Kim, I think. Oh, him. But... Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to get one of... The, I, I... I'm gonna get the all Asian people look alike. Sorry, I, I it's just that's who I thought when you said that because he's Korean, right? I thought Steve Young was Korean. Young sounds Korean to me, but yeah. I'm not yeah. fun languages. Uh, anyway, so uh, we are not here to try to remember the name of that guy. We're not. Here. No, that's here. not. Don't remember going first. Uh you went first last time. Okay. So I feel uh, like I want to because like i am so excited for your beer yeah no it's fine because you know what my beer is you're the only person who knows what my beer is so do you want to go first yeah all right go ahead okay cool um so i've got one from wooden ship and got oh. that cute logo yeah it's actually a collaboration between them and haggard brewing which is out in st louis park which is like um a suburb to the west of here Okay. I have no there. Um, I should really see if it's bikeable at some point because there is like a bike trail that goes to St. Louis Park. Yeah. Anyway, it, uh, Hager does like small batch stuff. Um, I was looking at their website earlier. They are worker owned, by the way. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. and it's just a couple like a very small operation. They do like barrel aged things. Yeah. So this a uh this is called subsistence and it's a kvass. So. Uh, I was debating whether to actually do it on here because I thought it was very alcoholic at all. Like, I don't know if it's even technically considered a beer. It's just like 2% alcohol. But, it sounds... I can also tell how hot your porch is because that can is just sweating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. So, from my brief Wikipedia skim, uh, kabas is mostly made from rock, but you can make them from different grains uh the description of the beer store described it as a kombucha like thing so oh, we'll okay. see how that goes yeah i guess how i would describe this is kind of a lightly fermented grain soda almost oh huh. That's interesting. I, I thought it looked soda-esque when you poured it, almost like a ginger ale or something. 
Yeah. Um, it's not very strongly flavored, but it's quite refreshing, which is nice because Jesus Christ, I'm sweating, man. Yeah. <laughs> 6,000 degrees. Yeah. Uh, I think the high was 90 today, which isn't that, not that much, but it's like we've got that lake effect swampiness. Oh, yeah. Um, I assume it's humid as shit. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see what our high was today. I'm not sure what it was. It was hot here, but uh, oh god, yeah, I think it's coming our way because it's in the night. The nineties are coming back. This is a pleasant little quencher, I would say. Um, it's not as tart as I expected it to be. It's got mostly just kind of a kind of a mild grain sweetness to it. Mm. Almost like a Hefeweizen, I would say, except without all the banana. You know what I mean? Or like a, maybe like kind of a milder Saison. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of cool. Uh, my one issue with a lot of non-alcoholic beverage options is it's hard finding stuff that isn't a complete sugar bomb. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a freak, but I would like pay decent money for like savory soda and that's kind of what this is savory soda that's crazy yeah oh it's a good time i i like this wooden ship does it again um i'm hoping i'm able to check out more stuff from haggard as well yeah. um i do like when uh breweries do these weird styles that like most people haven't really heard of i think um the brewer you're about to try one from we they did like kind of the scandinavian farmhouse ale that i didn't see around here a whole lot and then after they did theirs a bunch of people did want so i don't know it's cool it's cool to have something that isn't like a sugary sweet fruit sour just like the nine millionth iteration of an ipa and yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I know there's a lot of variety within them but God, sometimes I get so burned out. No, I, so I hear you. Because, like, when I've been looking for beers, like, I would find cans I would find interesting or names of beers, and I'd like, what is this? It's an IPA. Ugh. Like, I just can't. What am I going to say about another IPA? You know, that's not, that's just a regular IPA. I mean, we've all had them. They're fine. Um, but an IPA, but I probably will next week, to be honest. Ah, uh, um, for hate week. Oh, no. Uh, I... next, week, next week's hate week. It's from a really good brewery, so I have, honestly, the reason I picked it from the beer store's selection was because it's got, like, a, this brewery consistently has really great label art. Yeah. Beers don't actually blow my socks off. They're mostly just fine. Yeah. Um, they've got, whoever, like, designs their labels, like, give that person a promotion. They look stunning consistently. It's a selling point. I mean, I, I've bought many a beer just, uh, because of the can art, you know? That's basically how I buy wine. I don't mm. know what stock grape varietals are. Yeah. I barely know, like, what different wine types are. I buy the wine if it's got a funny little guy on it. Funny little guys. That's, yeah. Um, Speaking of funny little guys, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, were you done? If, if you're done, I, I, I don't want to... Not much to say about this one. It's pleasant. Um, If you would like to... Drink a Saison, but you don't feel like getting drunk. It is a good option. Um, I think it's one of the more interesting things I've had on this video. Um, and I think it's cool that Woodenship and Haggard collaborated. I've been meaning to try Haggard stuff for a while, but it's kind of difficult because, like, I never go to the suburbs. They are basically Mars to me. So I was excited to have a chance to try it. Cool. Um... Speaking of little guys or whatever you just said, um, we got to, uh, I hang out with Jaden and Lex on Saturday nights. Um, uh, so we had to go over to their old apartment last night to get some plants because uh, the plants were uh, suffering. On we get back, we park the car, their neighbors show up and who pops out of the car with their neighbors? Their cat. This little orange cat pops out of the car. He's on a harness. He's walking on a leash. And we learn his name's Henry. Oh, that's my landlord's cat's name. He's very, very personable. We all said hi to Henry. He turned around and gave us a meow. And uh, 
his people introduced themselves to us, but the guy was like, you don't need to remember our names. You just have to remember Henry's name. And uh, well, I'll never forget Henry's name. Who could forget Henry? This yeah. Just for Henry. Our, that lives in our building downstairs. He's very memorable. Um, he's a black cat and he's the loudest cat besides maybe Sauron. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, his favorite thing to do is when I'm doing laundry in the basement, he'll uh, creep up behind me and then let loose with a wow. Yeah, he wants to. He he wants you to know he's, he wants you to know he's there. I think. Oh, also speaking of weird little guys, guess who fucking came to Minneapolis today to give a speech in front of the burned out third precinct building? Bro, it had to be JD Vance. It was not the couch fucker, alas. Oh. It was the it was Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, who oh, okay, yeah. seventeen son uh, monitors how much he jerks off or whatever. Right, right. You well, know, monitor each other. Let's 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 be fair. They monitor each other. To expose Tim Waltz for like letting Minneapolis burn, and I know they had to have a tight cut on that shot, right? Because like, yeah. yes, building like the city hasn't done much with it. It's still an eyesore. Um, though actually they are turning it I think into an early voting center which is pretty cool because the current one like I vote early mostly because yeah. I do too much shit with my life so yeah. Yeah. making it actually on election day is kind of challenging yeah. but um, currently like the um, the early voting center is along like this very busy street where people tend to drive extremely recklessly oh, good. and there's bus lines that service it but they aren't very frequent so like I kind of feel like I'm playing Frogger whenever I go vote early. And it's actually right by my job and right by my jujitsu school. So it's not even like as inconvenient as like it could be, but it's not a great location. And like the new location, it's uh, served by a bunch of bus lines. It's right in the middle of a really thriving neighborhood. Yeah. But yeah, that's that was kind of my point. Like, yeah, if you focus entirely on the third precinct building, like, uh, yeah, I guess it sucks that it's there, but it's got like, it's got a decent music venue, um, in the Hook and Ladder. It's got Arbiter, the brewery. Oh, that yeah. Himalayan, one of my favorite Indian restaurants. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a there's like a a a uh, fantasy bookstore called uh, Uncle Hugo's. Ooh. That's good. And another bookstore called Moon Palace Books. Um, the Trilon Theater, which is this little art house cinema like um, that I go to all the time. They're great. Um, and actually Lowbrow Saints where my friend Anna tattoos. So like there is like a lot of cool stuff going on in this neighborhood. It's like Yeah. Uh, I'm obviously going to pick the one thing. Yeah like zero in on this one building to like claim it's a shithole it's actually like one of the cooler places in the cities i think yeah. like matt and i have considered you know like we like our we like mm -hmm. our place but like if we ever move again it's probably going to be there i don't know but like uh, i guess people were mean to cops once over there so Good. they're still fucking salty about it <laughs> uh, uh, um quickly shirt oh um oh this one just says it's a skeleton guy in a cowboy hat it says ye your haws afore you can't yes um it's from a company called inner decay where i buy a lot of like enamel pins and stuff from um and they also made the uh they make a lot of fine art patches they had uh oh. they my back patch on my vest of uh, which is going to the Sabbath is one from them. I, well, I'm using like the plural, but I think it's just one guy. But yeah, it's a uh, it's cool, and they gave me a big discount code for my birthday, so I bought this shirt. Nice, it's pretty cool. I'm just wearing a Dio tank top. It's just the Holy Diver cover. That's all. Uh, Dio. So yes. beer. Yes. Got him. So excited. Yes. Yeah, so, Helen, of course, you sent this my way because I am a Hammerheart virgin. And uh, we we're going to pop that cherry today. <laughs> uh, so it's Hammerheart. It is uh, Welton Manderer. Uh, and it is a uh, Bamberg style smoked uh, Hellas Lager, 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. 
So uh, the Welton Wanderer is probably, am I saying that right? Or is it Wanderer? Is it Welton, I think, I don't speak German, whatever. Uh, is inspired by the finest smoke loggers from Bamberg, Germany. Uh, this beer used Beechwood smoked barley to spring old world flavor to modern craft brewing. Uh, and there's your can. Lovely, lovely can. I will be keeping this can. Yay! Uh, and then uh, we're going to drink out of a Friday the 13th glass. I don't know why. So let's tear into this fucker. Did you have one? I like yeah, the but... black can. Oh, it's a nice light color. I did not expect that. I don't know why. They mostly make kind of darker beers, but that's uh, one of the, yeah. One of their exceptions. Did you have the quarter yet? Not yet, no. I was I'm gonna save that for another video. Okay, cool. So just scent wise, I feel like I'm at a campfire. Yep. Yeah, I feel like I'm sitting out back in the fall, uh sitting in front of the fire and uh getting ready to enjoy a beer. And so let's do that. Oh my. Well, this is just refreshing. Um so I've had some smoked beers and some smoked whiskeys before. And the issue I run in with them a lot of times is almost like the dessert beers where it's like too much smoke. Yeah. Um, I had a whiskey like that at a place here in Pittsburgh called uh, Industry Public House. And I just, I had to like choke it down because I was like, it's too much. It's just, it's way too much smoke. This is perfect. Um, As I'm speaking, I am getting the sensation of, um, what was it? The smoked, uh, what about saying? I already forgot. Oh, the Beechwood smoked barley. Like I'm, I'm just getting that as I speak. And it's a really pleasant taste. And the aroma is incredibly pleasant as well. Um. As soon as I put this in my, again, I, I expected a little bit of a different taste. I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Oh, I'm burping. Mm -hmm. But it tastes so clean and refreshing. God damn, that is fucking good. Yeah, right? Like, wow. Every, I've never had a bad beer from them. Um, yeah. And just the weight was worth it. Like, just, yeah i mean i can't compare it to how this used to taste you know i mean i don't know if it tastes any different you know switching to a new uh brewing facility but um yeah this is fantastic um huh man it it has the um it, how do i put this um it's easy to drink yeah. Uh, the carbonation is there, but it's not, you know, you're not burning your tonsils. Um, this could be, a, I can see this being a beer that I consume very quickly uh, because it's warm outside. Um, this is actually refreshing. And while not quenching my thirst, because beers don't really do that, um, it's, it's really nice. It's just a nice, it's a nice, yeah, I would want to be in front of a campfire. Um I'm trying to think if this would be better when it's warm or if it's cold outside. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, it would be good either way. But um, yeah, this is this is fantastic. This was worth the wait for me as well. Uh, not having had to uh, having had uh, sampled any of Hammerheart stuff yet, and I'm going to enjoy this over the next hour uh, once we get off of this because I have some writing to do, and this will be a nice companion while I write. So this is great. Austin, uh, I never doubted you for a second. God. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, if you're anywhere in Hammerheart's uh, vicinity, which I know isn't super wide, yeah, I highly recommend this. I can't get over... It's basically <laughs> Minnesota, I think. Um, but yeah. I know they... I think there was some talk about distributing kind of in the greater Midwest area, but I don't know if they've got um production capacity quite there yet sure sure yeah 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 that makes sense um it's so dumb i just am enjoying talking because as i talk i'm getting the the smoked aroma and it's 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 like i'm chewing on a nice smoked bacon oh uh, yep yep oh it's so good like uh i mean it's 
Hammerheart isn't super, super expensive. It is kind of on the more expensive end, but it's always, always worth it. Yeah. Like, you know, most local breweries, even the ones I generally like, will have at least one dud in the lineup. But, like, I can't think of a single Hammerheart beer I haven't enjoyed. Yeah. Well, I at least now can wear my Hammerheart shirt and uh, not feel like a complete fucking poser. So... <laughs> Yay. Thank, you, thank you, Helen, for sending these. I appreciate it. Oh, God, I keep burping. And I am going to put a package together for you as well of some local stuff. God, once I figure out what that is going to be, and uh, I'll send it your way. Um, um, yeah. Everheart is consistently getting stuff in stores in the cities now that they've got their production like in hand. So I can send you more of this. Yeah, I will uh I will definitely we'll we'll just start we'll just keep exchanging stuff. Why not? Oh yeah. Uh, good way to share beers. Um my friend Stephanie, who's in Chicago, we we did that for a little while where we kind of traded uh local beers back and forth because we get three Floyds here now, but at the time we didn't, and I had to drive to Ohio to get three Floyds. Um but now that's not a problem. I can find it pretty much anywhere now. Um so we started getting it in Minneapolis, like um I want to say not super recently, but it was within like the past five years. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we used to have to go to Chicago for like I don't know how the district mechanics work, but yeah, and it, um, but yeah, now it's a regular feature. It is yeah. kind of funny that like they keep swinging for the fences with these weird expensive ones that I don't think anyone buys. Yeah, um, I mean. They make like kind of the good staples as well. They so. do, yeah. yeah. Their staples are all good. I mean, I, I, it's not like necessarily beers I would, you know, mail across the country, but they're good. You know, they're they're serviceable, and you you know, you're you're not going to have a bad time drinking them. Um, their pilsner actually is one of the only pilsners I've legitimately enjoyed. Not a style I care for, but. Yeah. Yeah, I just, um, they're um, a big part of the beer lineup at the arcade bar I go to. Yeah. And, um, so they have like the good, the standard stuff, like I think, uh, what's it called? Zombie Dust and uh, Gumball. Yeah. Yeah. And then they have this like double like, yeah, I think it is. That's like $16 for a little 12 ounce tulip glass. I'm like, jeez. I like I like three Floyds, but I don't <laughs> that amount of money worth of like three Floyds. That's a little much. Oh, yeah. the hops are starting to come in. That's funny. I'm what? starting getting the hop sensation a little later now. So like some of the bitterness is this beer is changing in my mouth. It is a living organism that is living in my mouth. Um, and I'm I'm not complaining about that. So um yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to make you sit on that porch much longer because I know it's incredibly hot. I am just going to say for wrestling fans out there, and I know you were just at a show last night, uh, the AEW All-In pay-per-view was this afternoon from England. And um, if anybody hasn't seen it yet, incredible main event. Uh, really good show. Just really top to bottom. It was too long. That was the one thing that was kind of... Their shows were too long for me. Like, I get like three hours into a show and i'm like oh god there's three matches left i don't have the stamina but they're all good so i mean if you get it, go out of your way to see it you should cool um yeah i saw a free show from first wrestling at open streets which is kind of this big street festival annually yeah and yeah i think devin monroe won again i don't know everyone look up devin monroe yeah he's great yes yeah Yep. Um, go support wrestling, support beers, and get, you know, just uh, stay off the hot porch, you know? Why why, why suffer along with Helen? She's suffering because we make her. That's right. Mm. All right, next week is hate week. So next yeah. week, we're going to get a beer that we think we're going to hate, and I don't mean like a Genesee cream ale. we got to do some work here and find something that is different, that's not like a American adjunct or something like that. That we think we're gonna hate. Will we hate it? I don't know because we haven't filmed that yet. We'll see. We'll see. Uh I don't know. Fuck the police. Yep. Mm -hmm.
Why can't I stop this? 